Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is What If Deku is a Dragonkin part 5 or 6. Give me a second here. Yep, I was right. It was part 6. Ooh, sorry about that. And before we begin the What If, I'll be adding a couple more teams to the Quark Blast Tournament. So, Deku will meet some of the future students of UA in this part. So, I picked out who I want. So, we already know Bakugo and um, his m mystery partner. But I haven't enclosed this yet. It, you will know um, what character from um, Class 1B I picked. Or whatever class he was in. I'm not totally sure he was in class 1B, but whatever. And two, of, um, sorry. Two characters I made myself. Two of my custom, um, I forget what you would call it. OCs, I guess. Or whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're going to go with that. Now, you guys have noticed some of my... What ifs have the Cork Blast tournament? A uh, old subscriber mentioned something like a tournament because I wanted to make a custom arc, like right before the you know the whole canon stuff happens. So I've used this several times before, but never actually fully used it. So this is my first attempt at it. So this is going to be because it's usually just one fight, then it's over. But this is. I'm going to see what I could work with this to make something new. So, or I haven't done before. Because I haven't really used this Cork Black Tournament, tournament into the like major plot points and story stuff like that. So, as we begin our story where we left off, the Cork Hat, the Cork Blast Tournament has begun. Izuku has encountered Bakugo. As Izuku finished his conversation with Mina, as they walk back to the area where they need to go to begin preparations for the first match of the two-on-two -two tag team um, fights. As Izuku's walking, as he comes across two... Two mem uh, two teams, well, one team, that's taking place in the tournament as they're going in different bra uh, brackets. Sorry, guys. Um, I need to, yeah, I need to do something real fast. As Izuku and this, uh, this team, sorry, I don't know what to call it, but the competition, as Izuku sees a, a boy, you know, around his age, well, exactly his age, with prison shackles on his wrist. As walking beside him is a girl with, um, a, you know, has a tail. As it's a dragon tail, basically what it is. Her wings are not out right now. They, out, they pop out when, when they're in battle. As the two are walking across each other, as the young boy looks over at him, as he's like, Izuku Tasuma, son of pro hero Ryuko Tasuma. As the girl socks in the back of the head, you're taking too long, little brother. What my darling little brother is trying to say, we're going to crush you. So don't lose too, f so don't lose it, so don't lose too fast. It's about time the, for the Tosuma family to get put in their place. As they walk past Izuku... Now, I don't know, small pause in the story. 
I don't know if I pronounced her her name right. Probably not. I'm probably butchering it. I just thought it was Ryoko or Ryoku. I'm not church. I'll just gonna go with Ryoko. It was easier to say. So th there's that. So as Ryoku was looking on the upper level over the interaction her son had with two other competitors. And she's if those two are here, that means she's here. As she sees her, oh, speak of the devil. Well, well, well. It's the mighty dragoon hero herself. As she walks past her. So you're, are you here to watch my children beat down your child? Your offspring? If you're here to save my son's week, <laughs> you'll be quite surprised as Rika smiles at this woman. I will decide a name later on. I just don't know what to call her just yet. I would love to, I would love to do nothing but put you in your place to, to Suma. But as pro heroes, we can't openly attack each other. If I can't put you in your place, then I'll just use my children to put your family in their place. Our two family hasn't clashed since since the sports festival back in our years in UA I might have lost that that time but I hell I definitely made sure my children will have the same fate oh it's been very nice to see you it's always a pleasure you might excuse me I need to return to my wife and see my son matches. As Ryoko walks past her, as she has a serious look, as she sits down with Inko as they watch the first match, finally. As Bakugo Koski steps in the ring with Tetsu Tetsu. Bakugo. What's the plan? As Baku looks over annoyed, stay out of my way, metalhead. Or you die. As they see their two opponents, as Baku goes, huh, look at huh, more freaks. Brother, handle the white hair over there. I'll handle the loud mouth as she cracks her knuckles. As she straight up ignores Bakugo, as she looks strictly at Izuku, as she's like, Izuku Tasuma, where you're going to see that I'm on a higher level than you. Scratch that. She's like, you're about to see that we're not even on the same level. As Buck is like, don't ignore me, lizard. Did you just call me a lizard? Oh, you're dead, loud, Mr. Crackles. As the match begins, begins as Buck go rushes, goes into for an explosion. He doesn't have the gauntlet or anything like that, so. As, sorry guys. As she does, as all Bakugo sees a hand coming down, coming towards his face. As she's cutting right through the explosion, grabbing his head, knees him in his stomach. As she goes in for a punch, as the after the impact from the stomach shot, he kind of hovered off the ground a little bit as she tails whooped him. 
as she whaps him with his tail as he goes as he goes flying. As all you see is Testu Testu armoring up as he sees a bluish blackish fire coming strictly towards him as he's trying to not get damaged <laughs> you know he doesn't want to get hit by that without being you know his armor state as he's like <laughs> you have impressive defense but it doesn't matter every defense has a weakness I just gotta push you a little more as the tensity of the fire becomes more intense as he sees some of his, you know, metal crackle a little bit. As Mina, we cut back to Izuku as Mina's like, they're good. As he's like, yeah, they're that blonde racist kid. Yeah, he's going to get crushed. I don't know what to call her, so I'm just going to refer her as the Dragon Girl for right now, so it's easier. As the Dragon Girl, you know, <laughs> walks over to Bakugo as he's trying to struggle up. As Beck Bakugo gets up, he's like, hell no, I'm about to lose like this. As he goes and rushes, you know, her without any care or whatsoever as she's blocked she's dodging all his explosions as she takes pot shots at pot shots at his ribs as Baka goes panting very hard as she looks at Baka it's like highly dis I'm highly disappointed I expected something more from a loudmouth like you. As Baku was like, what did you say? As she rushes, as she rushes him, as she creates fireballs, as she throws them. As about time Bakugo dodged both of them, she elbows him in the side of the face. As he goes flying, as she grabs him by the neck. Flips him over and slams him into the ground. As she stomps on his. As she continues to stomp. On his ribs. As the arena floor is crackling a little bit. Cracking from the pressure. As the heroes gave her a black card. As they announce. The team got a black card so. Two more or they will be disqualified. As she picks him up by the throat. And with the fiery fist, she straight up knocks him down as he's he's out for the count. As she looks at her brother taking out Tessu Tessu as he he has strong defense, but, you know, he's not totally immune to, you know, high temperatures. So he, um, he passed out out of heat stroke. As they announced the first two winners of the first match of the tag team division in the Cork Blast Tournament. As they announced the next fight, says you have Tokiyami. And to walk in into the ring. I'm just calling it soup because it's easier for me to say it's faster. So there's that. As they announce their opponents to the Cork Blast tournament, as they announce Izuku Tasuma and Mina Hashido to the ring. As we're going to probably stop it there. Yeah, I'm a good stop here. I'm kind of tired, so huh. we'll stop it here. And the next part, we'll go through what's left of the tournament. 
then we'll get into canon territory. So I hope you guys have a good night and day judging my time zones. All right, bye.